Hi everyone, uh, my name is Kelly and I am an in-house legal counsel member here at Waterstone. With me today I have my colleague Adam Botterill who is now a liquidator. Kia ora. So today I'm going to be interviewing Adam. I'm going to be asking him a couple of questions about his day-to-day -day life uh, in the insolvency profession. Um, so yeah, my first question Adam is now that you are a liquidator, mm. as opposed to a lawyer, um, how has that changed your role here at Waterstone? It's a pretty good question. Uh, it's 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 changed, but it's also not changed. I mean, a lot of a lot of what um, we do in insolvency has a legal a legal background or a legal basis. So there is a lot of law that is that goes into it. I think in general, it's just I guess having a broader overview of what's happening with the file. So not honing in just on the legal matters, but also on the overall picture, so how are we dealing with the creditors, um, what is the likely outcome, those kind of questions which I wasn't always um, as kind of focused on when I'm just looking at the legal the legal side or legal cases and recovery. So I think just taking a step back and looking at the broader picture has been, has been the biggest change. Okay. Yeah. And then do you think that obviously having a legal background, do you think that gives you a bit of an advantage? as a liquidator, just in, in terms of the legal background that goes with insolvency mm. that you just mentioned? I think it does, and I, and I think the, the reason for that, how I mentioned before, that a lot of what we do has a legal, a legal tinge to it. So we issue statutory notices for information records, we interview under oath, we gather information, and then we look at how we can use that to recover money. And a lot of the times the recoveries aren't just selling assets or selling businesses, but they're also legal actions. So recovering on um, overdrawn current accounts with the director owes money or avoiding transactions or, or other kinds of director breach claims. So a lot of the recovery side dovetails into the legal. And I think that there is an advantage there. And I think more more liquidators um, should come up on this pathway. I think that um, at the moment it's very, um, you know, finance and accounting heavy. Um, but I think that the, the skills that that we get in law are really transferable and, and help to um, to get money back and to to do things efficiently. So I think it's an advantage. But some people may have their own their own kind of views on that. So here at Waterstone, we obviously have our in-house legal team mm -hmm. um, so we we kind of run our legal claims from in-house and um, you've been going to to court now mm. um, as a liquidator um, as opposed to um, mm. counsel so how how is that experience different to to what you've you've been using yeah uh, really different I, I didn't think it would be because still going to court have all the information have the documents you know you need, you know what you want to get but not having um, to wear the you know the robe and not standing in the council area initially and seeking some leave of the judge to move forward and to go into council's area it's definitely a, um, a change and I think a bit a bit stranger than I thought it would be because I'm so used to just kind of you know wearing the robe and moving up and and appearing so I think yeah, definitely um, it's something that is different but I think gets the same outcome and yeah. I think judges might be a little bit surprised because it's not the norm but I mean you did some looking into it and liquidators can appear like that for the yes. companies yes. Um, and it's something that I think more people should do yeah. um, definitely if they have the ability to do it that it's um, you know, save in terms of time and cost and I think it's a really really useful tool yeah. Well, it works great for us because mm. you've got that experience so, mm. um, and you're comfortable to go off to court. My final question, mm. uh, if you kind of had to pick, what would you say would be your favourite, being a liquidator or being a lawyer now that you've made the change? Oh, it's really, it's really hard, um, I guess, to, to pick, but I think having the high level overview of the entire file, dealing with people um, and creditors, and helping them through the process, not just you know being an internal resource for the liquidators and, and running claims, but I guess being that contact and making you know a, a small contribution to their experience and helping them along the way. Um, people have often lost out uh, in a the liquidation. They more than anything just need respect and um, some time, and so being able to do that and also the the recovery stuff I think is quite rewarding. So I think I just picked in there somewhere, but probably <laughs> <laughs> more more heading towards the. The liquidation side. Cool. cool. Mm. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Uh, if you'd like to get in contact with us, you can contact us at 0800 closed, or you can send us an email at inquiries at waterstone.co.nz.